Camilla has a good question about the AIT problems. How the heck do I prepare myself for the new fill in the blank different than regular multiple choice problem types? So the only way to prepare is to number one, know many of your counterparts, many of the individuals that are preparing for this exam outside of prep and ear, maybe using other books are not prepared. They're going to hit these problems and we have met students that have come to our program after they have failed the exam once telling us just how much the AIT problems threw them off. So I don't believe the AIT problems are going to be much more difficult. In our experience, from what we hear, they aren't much more difficult. However, they seem to be more difficult to some people because they surprise us. We're so used to this ABCD option problem type. That's what we're so tried and tested in. And so we're so used to seeing that once we see that we have to fill in a blank, it just throws us for a whole loop. So half of it's just mental game. How do we prepare for it? Well, half of it is just mental game. Be ready to know that 10% of the problems you see, up to 10 to 15 problems you see are actually going to be in this AIT format. So just be prepared for that. If you are prepared, I think you're half the way there of actually solving these fairly quickly. The next thing that we're showing a lot in our videos that we're putting together for these AIT problems is the fact that you can really control plus F the heck out of the NCES reference handbook find common terms, find basic terms, and just start searching them. They're gonna bring you to diagrams. Say you have a point and click, it might take you to a stress strain diagram asking you to click on the ultimate tensile strength. Well, that's in your NCES reference handbook. So if you see the term ultimate tensile strength, search that bad boy. What's it gonna bring you to? It's gonna bring you to a diagram. That diagram matches what you're seeing on the actual computer, rad. Where's it, where's it at? Oh, right there, boom, you're done. So control plus Fing I think is going to be the ninja hack for these types of problems. But a lot of them through, through just repetition of studying and preparing for the exam, going through these cram sessions, going through the material and the practice problems that we have identified in our prep and year program, since we go so in depth in the solutions and like we did in this final problem tonight, we didn't leave anything out. So there may be some simple fill in the blank from a small portion of the problem that we just completed. Maybe it asks you click on the, the first moment of area. I don't know, you know, I'm just throwing this out there, but maybe it's something as simple as that where you could go ahead and search that. But since you've been through this cram session, you're like, oh, Q, boom, done, son. So I think that's really just the ninja trick right there is that number one, half the mental game is you have to just be ready for them. Um, and then once you see them, you're not getting all twisted up in your head. Uh, you find common terms. If you don't know it right off the top of your head, start searching it. It's probably going to be a diagram or it's going to be some definition if it's a fill in the blank. Maybe some, maybe like uh, balancing a chemical equation, but it's going to be a simple chemical equation using numbers and you can just quickly scratch that out as well and uh so i hope that helps camilla i mean really i i don't know other than to say you know we're just going to expose you to them and i think that's the best way to prepare just be ready for them like anything else it's just uh it's just like your abcd options it's just something we have to introduce into our preparations